Hey guys, it's Deckran here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to multi-stream with OBS Studio, so that way you can go to live to Twitch, YouTube, Kick, whatever platform you want to. I'm gonna teach you how to multi-stream here today for absolute free with OBS Studio. That is right. If you guys did not know, I did a video like this last year, but they changed some stuff in 2024 for how the plugin actually works. So I thought it was a perfect time to do an updated video. So let's get straight on into it. The first thing you're gonna need to do is download OBS Studio. Of course, we'll have a link to it down below. And what you wanna do when you're on this page is download it for whatever computer you have. So what we're gonna do for ourselves though, is download it for Windows and install it. Now that you have OBS Studio installed, of course, we'll have a video link down below how to fully set it on up for yourself if you do wanna check out that video afterward. But what you need to do next is download the multi-stream plugin. Of course, we'll have a link to it down below and it's gonna take you to this page right here. Once you're on this page, there's a lot of things you see, but the thing you wanna focus on is go to downloads. Once you're in downloads, you're gonna see the OBS plugin. I'm gonna scroll down a bit until you find the actual download file, which is assets. And of course you can see the mac os one you can see the windows 64 installer and then the linux one which one we want to download is of course the windows one i will be doing a video later on how they set up this on uh, mac so if you do want to see a video on that make sure to smash the like button and let me know once that's downloaded what we do is go to our file explorer under downloads once you're in downloads you're going to see of course it right here we're going to click on this and install this onto our pc through the full process with that it is installed and once you open up obs you won't see it right after because they changed how the installation for it works what you need to do is go to the top left under docs and click the multi output and check that with that i actually show the multi output plugin and what you want to do is go back in the docs real quick is uh, check docs uncheck docs that way you can kind of place it somewhere so we're going to place it right here for the timing and just and drag it all around how we like now that you have the plugin installed we can actually set it up to go to different platforms so the first thing you gotta do is make sure your obs settings is actually set to a certain platform for whatever you want so go to stream whatever you want to set it to mine for the time being is actually set to twitch so you can set it to twitch or kick whatever main is your main platform of course i would recommend doing twitch and then what you want to do for the actual plugin now they actually added platform for the secondary is go to add a new target once you're adding a new target, you can just name this whatever you want. For time being, we're going to call this YouTube because we want to go live to YouTube with it. And don't mess with any settings down here because you don't need to customize these. It's just going to grab from OBS. Well, the next thing we need to do is go to YouTube and grab our URL and stream key. So once you're on the YouTube homepage, what you want to do is go to the top right of it and find upload icon and click on go live. Once it loads up the go live area, you're going to, of course, get a few things on the bottom left of your screen. So you'll see you have the URL and also the stream key. So we're going to just copy our stream key, go back into OBS. We're gonna paste this right here in the stream key area. Then what we're gonna do is go back into the stream URL and copy that and paste that into OBS for the actual plugin. And with that, we're all good to go. Now there is an option to start live with OBS. So as soon as you click live here, it will of course go live to YouTube as well. So you can manually set that up. However, if it doesn't work for you, there is a bug with it sometimes where it just doesn't wanna work properly. So I would recommend just manually starting here and over there uh, most times around. But now that you got YouTube added, you might be wondering, how do I add kick? Well, same process. We're gonna click add a new target. We're gonna name this kick. What we need to do is go to kick and grab our URL and stream key. So once you're on kick, what you wanna do is go to the top right to your profile icon, click on settings. Once you're in settings, you wanna go in the bottom left and see stream key. The way you need to do is grab your stream URL and stream key. So we're gonna copy that and actually put the URL and of course our URL area for kick for the plugin. And then we will go back, grab our stream key, copy that and put this under our stream key. And with that, we're all good to go live on kick now too. Now, if you're wondering how to do it for Twitch, same process, add a new target, of course, name this Twitch. Go to Twitch now and get your URL on stream key. Once you're on Twitch, what you need to do is go to the top right to your profile picture, click on it and go to creator dashboard. Once you've done that, you're gonna be in your creator dashboard. And what you need to do is go under settings and go to stream. Once you're in stream, your course gonna see your primary stream key and we wanna copy that. Go back into OBS, go to the plugin, and then of course we want to place this onto enjoy our stream key now for the url we'll have to go to a certain website to get it so of course i have a link to this page down below what you want to do on this page is actually click on one of the few links so you're going to see you have a few different actual servers to pick from for me i'm near ashburn so we need to copy the ashburn server because that's the closest one to me same rule apply whatever closest server to you we want to copy the actual url and go back into obs and paste that URL into actual URL area. And that we have now our Twitch, YouTube, and Kick all ready to go for multi-streaming. So now that we know that we have everything set up, what we'll need to do is click go live. So what we have to do is click start on our OBS normal settings. With that, it's gonna of course send an output setting to whatever platform you set it to. For me, I set it to Twitch. So we should be live on Twitch now. You can see right here, we are now live on Twitch, which is awesome. And now if you wanna go live on Kick as well, all we have to do is click the manual start button for Kick. We should be live on Kick now. 
might just take a second but once it's there you'll see we're now live on kick so we're now multi-streaming for absolutely for free with this actual plugin which is amazing but that is of course how you multi-stream with obs studio in 2024 if you guys did find this video helpful then you know what to do make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed so i miss some future tech content we're trying to hit 6,000 subscribers so you can help us hit that goal be absolutely amazing i'll see you guys for another one have a great day tech current out